time to go, I guess. Do you have a dad in this game, or...? No. Sta standard, like, standard one-parent rule. Yep, pretty much. There is no dad. Well, it's like an anime, like, you know, it's which one more character to draw. Right. Oh no! Oh no. Wild Pokemon battle! Wild Rattata appears. Appeared. Go, Cory. <laughs> He's only level two. Yep. Tear him apart! Oh, he got to go. Oh no, missed. <laughs> Looks like using, starting off with Growl might not have been a bad idea. Yeah, it's... Ta tail whip. Yeah, Tail Whip lowers your defense, so, yeah, you, you definitely want to kill him this turn. <laughs> should've let off of that. He probably should've, but Wild. it's, you know, it's AI. Wild Rattata fainted. Oh, cool, you got the little. Okay, now, you, now you're talking about, like, these different, um, like, gens of games, like, what, what does that mean? Oh, okay, um, well, I mean, there's, there's been... There's been different entries into the series, which introduces more and more and more into it as as you go on. Like right now. Oh, I just got a free I got a free po potion from some guy who's he works at the Pokemon Mart in Viridian City. Yep, which is actually the city that you're going to. I'm sorry. You, okay, I'm sorry. So go, go ahead. No, it's okay. Um, well, like I said, the this is the this is a remake of the very first, you know, the very first Pokemon games, uh, Red and Green. And it's, but it's done, it's done with, like, the Generation 3 graphics. So okay. that's, yeah. So that's why it's not all, it's not black and white, and it's not, <laughs> and, and, you know, it looks nicer, etc. Um, but in Generation 1, you had uh, red and green over in Japan, or red and blue over here. And then you also had Pokemon Yellow, which was... The oh no! Gory! Oh, Gory! Oh my god, you died. <laughs> Is that unusual to die this soon? It it happens. I mean it's a critical hit and that's that's just kind of a luck of the draw type thing. It's John just kinda it's just gonna kinda kick you back to your house. John is out of usable Pokemon. Okay oh okay, now I, I assume that with no defenses, Pidgey then just pecked me to death. <laughs> no, you actually run away. Okay, but I lost some of my money. John yep. White it out. What does that mean? It, like, you, you passed out, and then you end up it, back at your house. It, it killed me. I'm going down the tunnel. I'm going towards the light at the end of the There you go, and then you ran back home. John scurried back home, protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from further harm. John, welcome home. Sounds like you had quite an experience. Maybe you should take a quick rest. Mom, and don't then, there you go, Mom, you're healed again. Mom, don't let Nick know about this, okay? I just heard, <laughs> I just heard from Professor Oak. He said that Pokemon's <laughs> energy is measured in HP. If your Pokemon lose their HP, you can restore them at any Pokemon Center. If you're going to travel far away, the smart trainer stocks up on potions at the Pokemon Mart. Which is in the town we're going to, so... Right. Make right. me proud, honey. Take care. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry, you were saying about, like, the Pokemon generations of games. Yeah, yeah, so the, the first generation had red, blue, and yellow, which... Yellow is actually a special Pikachu edition, which, um... It, it's pretty much more based on the show. Okay. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah, people that watch the show, and they're like, oh, Pikachu's in the main Pokemon, why can't you have that? Well, you, you could in yellow. Okay. That was that was your starter Pokemon, period. Oh, okay. And then in Generation 2, which um, was actually my favorite one growing up, uh, you had Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And what was cool about that is it introduced two new types of Pokemon. Uh, it introduced uh, Dark-type and Steel-type. And then also introduced... Free steel game. as in, like, the metal, or as in steel? Yeah, as in, like, the metal. Okay. And, like I said, it also introduced, you know, breeding and, uh, you know, things like that. And, let's see. I have a new ability. Le oh, man. I have a new... I, I can try that new ability, Leech Seed. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I can tell you what that does right up front, actually. Um, what it does is it pretty much plants a seed on the opponent, and each turn it'll steal HP from it. Oh, wow. I see. And that's type grass as opposed to type normal. Right. Oh, I, only have, I only have ten uses of that. Each seed. Wild Pidgey was seeded. Whoa! And like I said, you get a little bit of their HP every turn. 
I do believe that's based on percentage. Give me your life force. <laughs> but yep, then in, in Generation 3, which was, you know, the, the engine that they used to remake Generation 1 for this, okay. um, that was actually a Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Now, now I notice when you talk about, like, there's, like, each generation has multiple games in it. What's the deal with that? Um, well, they, they, they put out two at first. <laughs> like, in the case of Gen 1, it was Red and Blue. In Gen 2, it was Gold and Silver. And then Gen 3, Ruby and Sapphire. And then they pretty much put out a, a third version. That's, that's kind of considered an enhanced version. Okay. Now, what are the differences between, like, the two in each, like, the main two in each generation? Uh, for the, for the most part, the differences between the two are just, you know, what Pokemon is available. Okay, so it's like the same story in, in like, world, then. Right, okay. right. But it's like, you know, you have to have both versions to, you know, catch them all, so to speak. Okay. Or at least know somebody that had the other version that you could trade with. Okay, yeah, that's right, the, that's, like, the, the, the wireless link it mentioned in the... Right, screen. right. I see. Oh, I missed! If that happens sometimes, unfortunately. <laughs> this, this this children's game is too difficult for me, I, I, I think. Man, this Pidgey is kind of tearing you up. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So, Nintendo's kind of double-dipping, then, a bit. Yeah, definitely. Now those those little ledges there, you can actually hop over them on the way back. Oh, okay. That's, oh, that's kind of neat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to talk to mom. Get another. Like you can't walk up them, but you can walk down them. If that if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of neat, actually. Makes it a little easier. Easier to, to backtrack. Back. Yeah. That's cool. That's that's cool. I like that idea. Okay, so you, okay, so now the names the the third were what? Emerald and Ruby? Did you say? Oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, third, third gen, it was um, Ruby and Sapphire were the first two that they released, and then there was Emerald. Okay. Now, what is the third, like, enhanced version of each generation? What kind of stuff does that usually add? Oh, gosh. Uh, to, to be honest, not a whole lot. Um, although, in, in some cases, like... Mm, like, if I remember correctly, Emerald... Uh, actually gave you uh, Rayquaza, which was a completely different uh, legendary than the other two. Okay. 15 experience points. Alright. Did you carve my path of blood on the, towards Viridian Town? Or Viridian City, or... Yeah, Viridian City. So it'll have, like, four houses. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. Uh-oh. Pidgey again, my old nemesis. Oh, this Pidgey's level 3. I think that some of the, one of the earlier ones was only level 2, wasn't it? Or maybe, maybe that was the R Rattata. Yeah, it, you're, you're pretty much going to encounter like anywhere between level 2 and level 5 Pokemon. Okay. At least in that particular area. Is Tackle sort of like the generic baseline attack for a lot of Pokemon, I guess? Yep. Okay. I just like the idea of, like, a <clears throat> bird just, like, body-checking this plant frog creature. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Like, if you actually envision it in your head, it's pretty funny. Now, the random attacks only happen in the bush, right? Yeah, only in the grassy areas. Viridian City. Ooh! No. That, that seamless no-loading experience of the Game Boy Advance. Alright. Here we are, Viridian City. Trainer tips. The battle moves of Pokemon are limited by their power points. PP. If you replenish PP, rest your tired Pokemon at a Pokemon Center. Heal your Pokemon. Pokemon Center. Yep, there are also uh, items that you can get a hold of that will restore... They'll restore PP. Oh, okay. Like they're they're not hmm, they're not generally very easy to find, but they do exist. You want to know about the two kinds of caterpillar Pokemon? Okay. Caterpie has no poison, but Weedle does. Watch that your Pokemon aren't stabbed by Weedle's poison sting. 
sounds bad. Yeah, it's pretty hardcore. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. They're like setting each other on fire and pale like stabbing each other with poison stingers. Yep. This is a grim world to be sending a child out into. Yep, and throw rocks at each other, and yeah, it's... It, it, if you really think about it, it's just kind of like Jesus Christ. There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. Oh, it's free? Yep. Pokemon Centers heal your tired, hurt, or fainted Pokemon. Make all Pokemon completely healthy. What's, what's the business model for that, then? Funded by the government, I'd imagine. Please feel free to use that PC. Reception has told me so. So kind of. Her. Oh, so that's like you're like like you can store. Okay, yeah, you can store your items there. So it's sort of like a portable storage area for you. Right. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Well, not portable, but I mean like not distributed. Okay, never mind. It, it, portable is close enough. Okay. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. I should put him in that tanning bed. Yep, pretty much. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. See you again. Someone's PC. Pokemon storage system will do draw a Pokemon. Email? No. Now, what year did the first Pokemon games come out? Oh, gosh, that is a good question. I don't remember that right off the top of my head. Give me just a second. Ooh, nice. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, uh, looks like, yeah, it looks like over in Japan they came out in 1996 was when the original Pokemon games came out. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, North America, Red and Blue released in 1998, so. Okay, that explain. I'm, I'm 33, and I, I know a lot of people who are a little younger than me who, see, who like, know Pokemon really well, but I... It, but it's like it's completely lost. It's like completely lost on me. So I, yeah, I was like a, I was like a few years too late to be part of the target audience. I guess when it came to yeah, America. pretty much. Um, in 1998, I was 11, so I was pretty much right at that. You okay, know, right yeah. at that age that they were really trying to market to. I'm terribly sorry. The Pokemon Wireless Club is undergoing adjustments now. In other words, it's you know available later in the game. Now is that like is that does that have something to do with like the like connecting to other people's Game Boy? Yep, the the okay. trading and stuff. Okay. There's a Pokemon store. Where I probably can't afford anything, because because after after all my medical costs from being mauled by that Pidgey. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, you came from Pallet Town. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can you take it to him? Oak's parcel. The key item's pocket. Yeah, sure, I'm, a, I'm your unpaid delivery boy, why not? I've got to buy some potions. You never know when your Pokémon will need quick healing. Again, this is a very grim universe. These people, like, they have these, like, combat animals, and, you know, you, you never know when it might need to be healed. Yep, pretty much. Wow. Tons of Pokémon stuff. All sorts of tools are lined up neatly. I like that there's lots of little things that have like just bits of descriptive text in that game. In the game. Yeah, where they actually take the time to, you know, describe a lot of the different things that you can actually poke at, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I like that. I like that touch. What? Let's see what's in here. I'm trying to mem memorize all my notes. Oh, is this, oh, this is like a little school? Okay. Be sure to read what's on the blackboard carefully. Pokemon Journal. Special feature. Professor Oak, the Pokemon researcher. Professor Oak reportedly lives with his grandchildren, Daisy and Nick. Blackboard lists Pokemon status problems during battles. Which topic do you want to read? Sleep. Can't attack him sleep. Stay asleep even after battles. Use awakening to awaken one from sleep. Poison. Pokemon's health steadily drops. Analysis, reduces speed, may prevent the Pokemon from moving. 
A burn reduces attack power. And also causes ongoing HP loss. I mean, that, that's that's, that's, that's kind of nasty. I mean, you know, like having a specific st status ailment for the effects of having severe burns. Oh, yeah. But then this one is frozen solid, so... I don't know, it's like, being, like, encased in ice, it's, like, kind of, like, you can imagine that being, like... I mean, in real life it would be horrible, but you can imagine it being presented as sort of, like, you know, like a cartoony fashion or whatever. But oh, it's yeah, just, definitely. like, you know, like, you steadily losing heal, you know, hit points from being burned. That's just, that's just grim. Yep. Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so sorry. He hasn't had his coffee yet. I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. Well, what do you... Well, get off your ass and make me, then. 